For a long time, I wondered how people on Instagram could afford to travel around the world staying in luxury hotels and Airbnbs. It seemed like it would get really expensive really fast, but it doesn't have to. In fact, it doesn't have to cost any money at all. What I mean is that there are loads of hotels and vacation homes that are willing to trade free stays in exchange for content. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my two methods for getting in touch with hotels and vacation homes and trading free stays for content. So the first way that I ever was able to get a free stay in exchange for content was actually through Instagram. And since then I've been able to get a few more this way. It generally starts with a content interaction, a like, a comment, or a follow. Let me give you an example. Say that Oregon Coast Vacation Homes follows me on Instagram. Right away I'll go to their page, drop them a few likes and a few comments. The next step is to send a very general DM to them. Something like your home or your homes are gorgeous. If you ever need some content, I would love to do some video for your social media channels. You can do the same thing for hotels, just say hotel. The next step is pretty straightforward. Just wait for them to reply, and if the reply is positive, then it's time to step things up a bit. This is where you elaborate a bit on yourself. Tell them about past clients, tell them about what you're working on now, and tell them about why you're interested in working with them. And then you're gonna to wanna to slide in the offer. Something to note, I typically don't want a free stay if it's only one night. Once I've got that written out, I go ahead and send it off. If they're still interested, I typically try to set up a phone call with them where I get a bit more information about what kind of things they'd be looking for, and then it's pretty straightforward from there. My second method for getting free stays takes a bit more work, but it can be well worth it. Essentially, it involves sending pitch emails to hosts of vacation homes or to hotels in order to get a free stay in exchange for content. So here's how I typically go about it. Step one is you need a list of places with availability during the dates that you wanna be there. A great way to do this is to go to a website like Expedia or booking.com and just surf through the options for stays during the times that you wanna be in a specific location. Let me give you an example. Say that I wanna to go to Cabo uh, between June 25 and 28. I would go ahead and hop on Expedia, search Cabo, uh, put in the dates that I want to be there, look at stays, and then I would compile a list of five to ten of these places I was interested in staying in and use that for step two of the process, which is actually getting in touch with these hotels or vacation homes. To figure out who you're going to email, let's head over to LinkedIn. Once you get to LinkedIn, type in the name of the hotel or the property management group for the vacation home you're interested in staying in, followed by marketing. Step three is getting the actual email. LinkedIn itself doesn't provide you with emails for the marketing contacts at these hotels, but you can use apps like Hunter.io, which is a Chrome extension, or Voila Norbert, which is just a website where you enter in the first name and the last name of the marketing coordinator or whoever your potential contact is at this hotel followed by the URL of that hotel branch. These are both great tools for finding people's emails. Once I have the email addresses, I'll send out cold emails offering my service. A couple of things to keep in mind when sending cold emails. Be professional. Look at this as if you were the person receiving the email. Um, you know, how would you want that email to come across? Be professional, be respectful, and look to add as much value as you can. Building a good relationship can have massive returns in the future, so it's really important to think about that. So there you have it, that's how I get free stays at hotels and vacation homes. You don't need a huge following to make this happen. I literally have like 1,400 followers at the moment, uh, and I've been able to land these fairly easily, actually. It, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Getting free stays may seem like a great deal, and in many cases it is. Just keep in mind the trade-offs. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.